Welcome back! Today we're going to be talking about image labels and image buttons. So in this video we're going to be overviewing some properties. So let's get into it. First of all, you want to make sure you have your image label or image button. I'm just going to use an image label. They both practically have the same things, so I'm just going to choose one. So here's our image label. As you can see, it's practically the same. The only difference is that it is used for images. So if we go here, we can learn how to change the image. So when it comes to changing them, we have two options. One is to use a decal, and the other one is to publish and upload from computer. So for the first one, which is the decal, we go down here to image, and we'll have this thing here with the placeholder, or just this image basically. In order to change it, what we'll have to do is go out of full screen mode and go to the website. Whee. So here's the website here, and we're going to go to create, and we're going to go to decals. Once this loads, we're going to go and we're going to upload our file. Since I already have a decal here that I kind of like to use, since it's simple, I'm going to click configure. Or, no, not configure. Whoops. We want to just click it, basically. Then we want to go up here. You can see these numbers, and we're going to highlight those in our URL, and then we want to copy those. That's going to be used as those numbers are the ID. So it's used to identify of which decal is ours. So if we go back in here and we just click on the placeholder and paste it, it will give us our image. So now that we, now that we have discussed the first option, we're going to go into the second one, which is to publish and upload straight from the computer. So we're going to go up here we would go up here but i sort of already published but you know you click here it would give you the things to publish your game and you would go here so if you click it like this i think you already saw it before you would have these options depending on what you uploaded you would click add an image you would choose your file give it a name like cool or something and after that after you've uploaded it then you just click it and it would give you the same thing. I only have one so I'm just gonna leave it with that. Now let's go back into full screen mode so that it looks nicer. Yeah. So now that we've learned how to upload, we want to learn some things like how to maybe change the color. So you might think code link. You, we kind of already know how to change colors. It's kind of simple. You just click the button and change the color. But no, no, no. You'll get confused if you try it on image label. Because if we click this, and it, let's move it over. Maybe we wanted it to be a very bright, vibrant green. You may look over here and it looks like a vomit green. Why is that happening? The reason why is if we put it back to white, and we have our original setup here, it is kind of dark. If we set it to a white, it would give us any color we wanted it exactly. But since we have it as a darker tone, it's changing the hue. So if we make it, like since it's a bit light, if we did a black, it would be pr quite difficult to change. But as it is a s pretty bright one, we can see our colors decently. But we do notice that we cannot get the exact color we want. So we'll have to work with that. But depending on how you upload it, like what color it came in originally, it will change of how the hue reacts when you change the color. So if we change it to this blue, as you can see, we have this weird green. If we change it to a dark blue, then we have a pretty much black or darkish purple. I'm not really sure what you would call it. But as you can see, if we compare here and here, they are completely different colors. So that's all about it with hue. Besides that, everything's the same. Now that we've learned that, you can also change the transparency of your thing because, well, since I have a perfectly ba a perfect background or square thing that fills in everything and it's not a specific shape, 
we have it so that we don't need to change the transparency. But we will need to in a second. Because if we go back down here, we have scale type. So there's different ways to scale your image. It will be a bit difficult as this is just one plain square, but I'll tell you what it really does. So stretch. Stretch is basically the object stretching into filling the whole entire image or how it's spread out. So if we had like corners or a fancy design here, it would look very um, manipulated if we had it with that image. So, but for now it doesn't look like much. But if it is getting really smushed and smudged or things like that. So now we have crop. So cropping is basically if you shrink it, etc., it's not gonna show the whole image. Like half of it would be just off the screen, just only what it's showing currently. So if we make if we made it big enough, it would show the whole entire image. But since we have again a plane square, it doesn't really do much. Can't really notice anything. But it would shrink. Like half like the outside of it would be not visible. You know what? I, I can't really teach you like this. This is this isn't gonna work. Um, I'm gonna change the image so that you guys can actually see this. It's too confusing if I just try to explain it with a plain image that doesn't look like it's changing. Okay, uh, so I guess I'll sort of be doing the decal thing or just uploading. Yeah, I'm just gonna upload. Okay, so let me choose an image here. Scavengering for a good image. Looking around and looking around. Something cool. Okay, uh, I'll just use, um, I'll just use my old, uh, profile picture for fun. Uh, cool profile. Uh, that's not how you spell cool. The cool cool. Ta-da! Okay, so this will be way easier to explain as you can visually see of what I mean. So if we go to stretch again, you can see as it is getting very deformed and looking very cursed. And if we go here and we click, for example, tile. Tile means that basically instead of stretching or filling the whole thing with one square of your image, it will create multiple that fit into that square or your image. So if we stretch this, oh, I gotta do some tile sizing, I think. What if I make this zero? Zero. If I do that, tile size must have non zero width and height. Oh. A bit new with this, but I think I can cooperate with these numbers. That zero point. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now it's working. It looks very weird. Okay, I want to make it bigger for you guys. I'm gonna do maybe five and five. How's that? Yeah. Okay, so as you can see, instead of filling it with one plain image, it does multiple so that when we stretch it out oops. well instead it's filling it to how much it is so yeah so basically we can decide of how big or small the images are so then varying on that it will change of how many images will fill the thing basically tile now let's do a different one like hmm, let's do fit yeah Okay, so this is where we kind of need to change the transparency. So it's only going to fit, it's going to try to fit into what, at, or it's going to stay as what it is. It's only going to try to fit into the box, not try to fill the whole entire thing and stretch and morph it itself into weird shapes. So if we just change the background transparency, let's see, background transparency, there we go. And we change this to one. Now we have a nice clean background with only the image that we uploaded. Now let's go back down here to where were we? Yep. So if we scale this, like I said, it shrinks instead of filling or morphing. So that's what fit does. It just tries to fit into the box without uh, perfectly filling it. Now let's try crop. 
So if we, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I'll do slice next. It's a bit, it's the most complicated. So as you can see, it's cropping itself to the size. It's, a, it's cropping itself so that it doesn't fill everything, as you can see. So if we squeeze it like this, instead of becoming a tiny little square or morphing itself so that all of it shows, it just cropped itself into the size. If I made it into a little square, like how it was, or if I just squish it like this, it just crops it out. So that's kind of simple right there. Now the most difficult to explain, slice. So it slices it into a 9x9 grid. I can't really explain it with my mouse. But just imagine a 9x9 grid split here. Oh. Split across the image. And then when we stretch it out, etc., it stretches out those 9x9 grids. So it, 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 it's pretty weird. I, I'm not really sure if you'll use it, but whenever you want to use it, I guess you could. But to be honest, it's it's pretty weird. Um, it's difficult to handle also. So I'm, I'm just going to get out of slice very quickly before uh, I do anything wrong. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at stretch. Or, yeah, stretch. We're going to leave it at that. So, yeah, we'll let it, this character of mine uh, just smush its stuff all at once. And that is basically it for this video. So let's overview what we've learned really quickly. So we've learned how to upload, how to what color hues are in this case i want to just show you with this now as you can see it changed it if so actually i don't want to get back and mess up the whole entire the order of the video but we learned how to change the color we learned how to do scale types and we learned how to upload an image that's it for this video and i'll see you next sunday bye